All right, hello everyone. Again, we are coming to you live from Cascade Locks in Oregon. Uh, I am actually sitting in the middle of the river between Oregon and Washington right now. I'm trying to wrap up a lot of these Oregon videos before I actually get into Washington because Washington is another kind of short state compared to California. Oregon was 400 plus miles and the hiking was pretty easy in Oregon from you know the conditions we had the weather was really great no rain uh, it was a little chilly but it was really nice so moving pretty quick through oregon been a little bit behind on the updates but as you can see behind me there's the river cascade locks i'm on an island between oregon and washington it's really nice this little park people walking around their trains on both sides so you may hear that today we're going to talk about oregon section c which is from Fish Lake, which is where a place I stayed, and it's going to Cascade Crest Highway, and that's just a highway that's a marker on the gut hooks map. It's 75 miles, and we're gonna start on day 104. That was the day I left Fish Lake. I uh, walked back up to the road. I didn't wanna take the bike, pack, bike path up to the trail, because it was uphill. I mean, it's a nice trail, but I'm not gonna walk back uphill, not PCT miles. And so I walked up the hill to the actual road, and I was trying to get a ride back to where the PCT crossed. And I wasn't able to get one, so I started the day off of Fish Lake after my breakfast with a two-mile road walk back up to the trail. Uh, the bugs were still, they're pretty bad getting around Fish Lake. Um, it's pretty annoying at times, but we just walked through them. We got up there. And I still got about 23 miles in that day, and it was really nice. Day 105 was from where I camped after Fish Lake to Claytor Lake National State Park. And this day was super buggy until you got into the park. Uh, it was a full bug net, deet, everything. And it's just, as soon as you stop, they would just swarm all over you. And... But when I got to Claytor Lake State Park, it was relatively nice. Um, they had a nice camping area, had a restaurant, they got a store, it's kind of expensive, laundry, free showers for the through hikers. And uh, it was one of the best stops on the trail. But you have Claytor Lake State Park, and then once you got there, there's two options. There's one option that they call the Hiker PCT, which is basically the rim trail, and then the official PCT the equestrian route for the horses away from the lake goes back around the lake and but i was lucky this year i was going to go to crater lake to the lake either way i was going to take the rim trail but this year the equestrian real pct was closed because of fires last year so i just took the alternate got to see some great views of Clater lake it was really clear there was no fires affecting that area at the time uh, and so you got crystal clear views of Clater lake and after that I took one day at Claytor Lake, uh, ate no, one day there, ate breakfast the next day, and then I headed out and I camped at mile 1848, and that was the day I hiked the rim trail. Uh, it was pretty hot that day, but it was pretty nice. I went up to the rim village, got my picture beside the lake like a like a super tourist, and everyone asked asked about where I hiked from. And you had the whole conversation about, well, I came from Mexico, and they wanted to take a picture, and it was it was pretty awesome. But as soon as you got out of Clear Lake Park, you hit the bugs, and when you go into camping, since this section is only 75, we're gonna, that's gonna end up section C, and we're moving through Oregon. As you can tell, we're already pretty much able to spit on Washington from where we're at right now. So when we come back, we're gonna talk about Oregon section D. Thanks for watching.